Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski, our top story. A 30-year-old Kelowna man is in police custody after RCMP believe he was responsible for driving through the front of Lakeview Market on Pendozi. The incident happened Thursday morning when the driver of a blue Ford Explorer clipped the back of a cab and then rammed through the store. And so I came out once he had come out of the building and uh, um, tried to get him to just put in park and stop, stop. He looked like he was in shock. Uh, I don't know if he bumped his head. Somebody said uh, that he had blood on his head. I didn't see it. Uh, my biggest concern was just stop before he kills somebody. The driver did not injure anyone on scene, but did manage to get away. Police found the vehicle in the McCullough area, and the man is now facing charges, which include impaired driving. First Nations chiefs of the Nicola Valley packed up their protest at Christy Clark's office after a six-day sit-in. The chiefs and their supporters have been fighting the importation of sewage sludge from several municipalities in BC to different points around the Nicola. The government has a constitutional obligation to inform us of where biosolids are being disposed of um, in our territory, and they haven't done that. Uh, we have concerns about how uh, biosolids, what they do is they they put the biosolids on like crown land, private land, uh, on open fields, and it contaminates our, our lands, our waters, our, our streams, rivers. The protest ended as a meeting was arranged with the Premier's Chief of Staff. However, no agreement was made during that meeting. We've all heard the stories, and some don't believe them, but two boaters swear they saw the Ogopogo this week. The women contacted Castanet to tell us their story. A 50-foot creature swam by their boat on Okanagan Lake. But we wanted to find out what the people of Kelowna thought about our mythical creature. Uh, I don't want to say yes, I don't want to say no, but like I've never really liked swimming in lakes, so it definitely hasn't helped me at all. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I think he's here, but I like the idea of it, so anything kind of about him, I'm into. This past Wednesday marked Earth Day and the students at Shannon Lake Elementary did their part to give back. They helped pull plants from the ground at Talus Ridge on an area set for development. The plants would then be transplanted at the school along the walking trail. We're going to be taking these plants and going back to school and planting them up in our steep slopes to help with water erosion, to hold back the soil and to create an interpretive trail where others can come and learn about plants and how, what plants are drought tolerant to this area. Six million Canadians have participated in Earth Day in communities around the country. Castanet got a sneak peek at the Kelowna Paddle Centre which is set to open May 2nd. We signed a lease with the city last year, a smaller portion, and we quickly outgrew that. Uh, and so now we have an opportunity to uh, use this side of the property that we currently are standing in to expand our services and have a, a clubhouse where we actually have change rooms and we have showers and we have a trophy room, we have a workout area, an office manager can work in there now, so it's been a great addition. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.